everyone. Oh, damn that key. I really... I'm never gonna do it, am I? Alright, we are back. Um... Right, we were doing uh, missiony stuff because we talked to everyone. So let's go. Oh, oh, ah, there we go. Um, actually, ooh, we haven't actually gone down here at all, like ever. Maybe we should actually like socialize with some of the underlings. Hey, Sanchez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. Mm. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Hmm. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Aw, oh, sorry, man. Um... <clears throat> Let's see... Oh, let's go service. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking. Flying F-61 Tridents, mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Hmm. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. As I saw the hard do. work. Ta -ta Don't kill do. yourself. Yes, Commander. I like you, Sanchez. <clears throat> you are my number one. Make it so. Engage. Uh, well, James was. Where the. Okay. I don't know, James in a little little area. That's not James. Oh why am I not surprised? Hi James. Shepard. What the hell are you doing down here with the grunts? What do you mean? Been down here a while. Started to think you didn't like me. Uh. <laughs> Better late than never. You come down here for something, or are you just looking? Um... It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Do you want to chat, or are you just going to keep doing that? Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. Who are you as a person, though, James? I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. How did we meet, by the way? Well... <sighs> Ugh, stop that. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? <clears throat> what? Oh, I can dance. I can leave my friends behind. Okay, Lola. But if your friends do don't this. dance, and if they can't dance, then you're no friends don't of mine. Don't good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. What do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. 
And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I am. I do. You a shrink, too? Yeah. No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So. Maybe oh. you don't care if you Eat live it. or die. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. Maybe you are. Don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. <laughs> Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> You're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. Oh, that was actually... I, I kind of like that. That, uh, boxing, fighting barring thing. I, I better go see what Edie wants with me, though. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Edie just wanted to say hello. So, uh, what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna do some shopping as well as um, upgrading with these two lovely, lovely machines. So, yes, we'll be right back. Again. Sorry.